Hello, welcome to the Album Chart Show, where today's show is dedicated to a young lady who found fame on TV show pop stars, The Rivals. She went on to be one of the biggest UK girl bands. She scored number ones, she's won Brit Awards, and now she's ready to release a solo project on the world. It's Nadine Coyle. Hello, Nadine Coyle. Hello there. Welcome to your very own special. I know, I can't believe yeah. I've got my own special. You've got your own special. That's really good. You're in the big you. time. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Really good. Yeah? Really good. Mm -hmm. um, we are here to sort of celebrate the, the release of your solo album, Insatiable. Yes. Must be a very exciting time for you, right? It is. It's, I can't believe that it came so quickly because I spent so long writing the album uh -huh. and getting everything together. And now that we're actually performing the stuff, I think it still feels surreal. Mm -hmm. Probably look back in a couple of months and think, wow, did that really happen? Did, that did I happen? really have my own did special? I, did, I do, did I have my own special? Yeah. That <laughs> and how long in the making has it been? Because it's been, it's been a few years uh, in making this album. Now, yeah, right? it has. It's all in all, it's probably been about two years. Right. And then kind of the production stage of it, because it was getting all the, the best musicians from all over the place uh -huh. to actually get together, play the stuff. That took probably about eight months. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was quite long. Long time. Mm -hmm. And then how does it feel now to finally be putting it out? Are you proud? Are you nervous? Excited? I feel really proud. I feel really proud of everybody involved because we went such a different route uh -huh. of doing it. We didn't do the, the ordinary, you know, the, the record label route. We done it where we opened our own Black mm -hmm. Pen Records and done a, distrib or a retailing deal and yeah. set everything up and done everything ourselves. So I'm really proud of everybody. I'm yeah. like, oh, oh you I guys. Love you. <laughs> and you've actually as well co written the majority of the tracks on the album, which yes. we, we never knew you as a songwriter before in Girls Aloud. When did you? figure out or, or know that you could you could write hip hop songs I started off just um, just messing around it started off I was on tour and I had ran out everything went done I spent a mad day on iTunes just mm -hmm. buying loads of stuff and then there was nothing else for me to really buy and I thought what would I like to What's listen to now? What's going to fill this void? Yeah, what, what would I like? So I started off with, a, like, hearing strings, like, doing a string track in mm. my mind, and then put it down, and then started to, to ask my publishing company, EMI, can I do some sessions with people? Yeah. And then done loads of garage band stuff. So uh -huh. the, the, the album is a mixture of co-writes and garage band. So do you material. use garage band? I use garage band. I can't band. use that. I'll teach you. Will you honestly teach me? Yeah, I will honestly Because my teach nephew you. can use it and he's 10. It will, it'll change your life. And I can't use it and he keeps trying, but obviously his patience isn't great. So you can be the one. I'll be the one. To teach and you'll me. get it and you'll okay. be making songs. And maybe I'll have an time. album out of my own you special won't, why next not? year. Have you interviewed me? I'll, I'll, we'll yeah. just swap seats. I'll wear a dress. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be perfect. Uh, it must be nice. You sound great. You sound yeah. much better. You're like, wow. Do you know what? That has happened. If I sing in my bathroom, I'm like, Maybe I'm missing my way. Yeah. But I think it's just the bathroom, isn't it? The bathroom me? can fool you, but mm. if you've got it there, they'll only enhance what you've got. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe I am a talent. <laughs> so that's what happened. Yeah. yeah, I just was doing vocals on the laptop that had to be sent over to the producer in London, Ricky Ricciardi. He was right. laying, them, laying them on top of uh, the music that was being recorded in London or wherever else it was being done. Mm -hmm. So that was all loads of stuff yeah. being transferred. It's transferred over. Uh -huh. um, we should talk about Insatiable, which is the, the lead track from the album. Yes. Why did you go for this one first? Was that the first obvious single for you? For me, Insatiable was a mixture of, there's a lot of different styles on the album. You have some really rocky stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I was, when we were doing the Girls of Light stuff, it wasn't that rocky. Yeah. So I was like, if I go and do a pure rock track, people would be like, what's she doing? <laughs> this, yeah. Hi. And then if I went and done a, a ballad track or something about too bluesy, then everything was a bit too removed. Yeah. So I felt that Insatiable was a good reference point yeah. to show that there's a lot of different styles on here. Uh -huh. um, and that kind of, it wasn't too specific to a style. It was yeah. kind of a, a mixture of a, a few things. Nice stepping stone. Nice stepping stone. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, welcome back, where I'm still joined with Nadine Coyle. Hello. Hello. Are you still okay? I'm still okay. Are you enjoying Coco today? Very nice. Smells great on here. <laughs> Smells amazing, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind to the beginning of your career. You told like, the best lie ever when you pretended to be 18, when in fact you were 16 on yeah. the Irish version of Pop Stars. Yeah. Right? How, how did that happen? When did they eliminate you for, for being a liar on the D? Well, what <laughs> happened was there was a, so it was an audition process. Uh -huh. Everybody got to Gail, or all going to this audition, done the audition, moved to the next round, uh, you know, moved to the next round. 
got under the band mm. and then they came and they were doing all these interviews and stuff and everybody was drinking and, and I was obviously too young oh. to be able to drink and people were pouring me wine and I thought, no, this is the, what am I going to do? Uh -huh. So I called one of the judges and I was like, I'm not 18. I, I don't... I, don't think, I didn't think I was going to get under the band. It was uh -huh. just ex an experience and now I'm here and what do we do? And then that was really it then. That was kind of, that was what happened. It may be a blessing they... in disguise though, maybe a good thing. And then you went in 2002 for Pop Stars The Rivals. Yes. And of course made it into Girls mm. Aloud. You went to number mm. one. What, what, what was that like? The memories from that must have been Again, insane. Still only about 18? Just a 17. 17, wow. 17. Uh, and we were number one for a month. We signed wow. to the underground. So it was funny that every week you listen to the charts and, you know, every Sunday, and number one, it's scares aloud, sound of the underground. Yeah, like, again? We got, and it was like, <laughs> This is mad. This is just weird. I was. I think you remove yourself yeah. from the situation. You see it for what it is, but you mean that as a part of it. Yeah. It's weird. And what is it like now without the girls, like having to do things on your own to do to do promo like this and to perform on stage? Is it is it more nerve wracking or hard? More hard work. Um, I think because I know the material, I know the songs so well, mm. and and when you write your own songs, it gives you kind of a space where you know what you're doing. Yeah. So for me, that that's it's a, it feels comfortable being on stage. Yeah, it's ready. So Nadine, lovely to speak to you. You too. Uh, good luck with Insatiable. Thank uh, you. Nadine Coyle.